In this Fitbit, we're going to go through some different types of searches because I've gotten many questions about the different types of patent searches and it can be a bit confusing. Uh, the first and foremost is keyword search. And this obviously searches for specific words within the text of the patent document. And it can get pretty complex. You can target the searches against different fields in the document. You can use Boolean logic, etc. Um, but the common factor with keyword searches is that it can miss unusual terminology, new terminology you don't expect, and as a result, you can miss relevant patent documents with it. And to overcome that, some providers in the industry have come out with what is called synonym search. And this basically takes a block of text, pulls out the key phrases, and finds synonyms for those search terms. And then you can sometimes tune which keywords to use in that search. This can save you some time for finding synonyms, but it has inherently the same limitations as keyword search. Someone has to maintain that dictionary, and new terms or unexpected terms, certainly unusual terms from other industries, will not be captured in some cases. And some providers call this semantic search, but is it semantic? It is not. And the reason is that semantic search searches based on meaning and concepts. And it uses a variety of algorithms in order to find the meanings behind the words and documents that use different terminologies for the same thing. If you do a semantic search for camera and anography, it'll pull up patents with things such as image capture device and even photographic optical apparatus. And there's literally dozens and dozens of types of key phrases that will be derived from finding the concepts and meaning behind camera and pulled up inside anography. It finds, as a result, relevant patents that use unexpected and unusual and new terms. And it's actually complementary to keyword search. Many of our clients will do a keyword search and then, as a final step, do a semantic search to find any additional ones that the keywords miss. And if you want to see semantic search in action, watch our VIPIT on the semantic search example.